What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the show. This right here is another Gray Zone Warfare video. Right here, we're going to be diving into really quickly calculated speculation on the closed play test and the early access or open beta. First and foremost, we got some new information today. It was just a developer interview, very sincere interview, very funny. They had a couple of technical difficulties, but nonetheless, it was good. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description for it. What I'm about to say, some of you might already know, but I'm getting a lot of comments on my videos. I'm seeing them in Discord. People do not know when they're going to have access to the game. So I want Wanted to clear the air on that and give you the best speculated dates that I have in mind. So first and foremost, there's going to be a closed play test, which will be invite only. I'll go into that in just a minute. And then there's going to be an early access or open beta, if you want to call it, which will be ongoing. It is going to be the launch of the game. They're going to build onto the game as they see fit, but the servers will not go down unless they have major issues. It is basically the launch of the game. The early access will be the premium purchase for the game. Raison Warfare will not have any microtransactions, so you will pay just that one time cost and you're going to be able to play now the close play test and then we're going to get to the dates the close play test we quote do not know how we will get access to it but i do have a little more information on that what we do know is they have been very clear about trying to get people to subscribe to their dev blog and their newsletter via email so i believe a lot of the first wave of close play testers are going to come with an email invite or a key for the game maybe even a handful of keys that you can share with your buddies so you can get a full squad i know uh, a lot of games do that if that whatever the squad limit is three four people they will uh they will send emails to certain people and they can give away keys however they see fit. So that's one. The second reason, and it's really a marketing strategy, is going to be content creation. You've seen this with a lot of different indie games. What they do is they will have people play test the game, stream it, make content on it, give away keys, you know, basically free marketing. So as far as I know, guys, I should, I'm going to say, take this with a grain of salt. I should have closed play test access at some point when they do it. I don't know if they're going to do it in waves. I don't know when I'll have it, but uh, at some point I should have it, but it, it's, it's strictly because of my content. Content. I think the other way is going to be signing up with the uh, newsletter, like I said, dev blog, and then obviously requesting access uh, when they do put it on Steam. But they have not announced publicly exactly how you're going to be able to get access. These are just how I see it playing out based on other games from indie developers in the past. Let's go to dates. I'm going to wrap it up with dates. This again, a little bit of speculation. It's very calculated speculation, but nonetheless, take this also with a grain of salt. We do know that Rick, the head of communications at Madfinger Games, is going to be attending Loot Fest, which is February. February 24th. He's going to be doing a q and A. I don't know if it's going to be with the audience or just whoever's on stage with him, but he's going to be answering a few questions and we believe presenting more information, gameplay, you know, maybe a trailer, maybe even a full mission walkthrough of the game. I don't know if he's going to be playing it or just showing uh, content for it, but we're going to be getting information that day nonetheless. Now, I believe playtest waves, the first wave for closed playtest will be going out that day, maybe the day before, maybe even the week after. Somewhere around that time, I believe they're going to start bringing in people for the closed play test. I don't think it's going to be a full everybody that they wanted to bring in whatever load they want to put on the servers. I don't know if they'll do it all in one time or they're going to bring people in, you know, hour by hour up to like maybe three or four days. I have no idea. But around that time, 24th last week, or maybe even as early as maybe the first week, weekend of March, that's when I would expect the closed play test because what that's going to do is that's going to give them time to make sure they have everything ironed out so that they can launch early access at the end of March. I would expect early access the second to last week or even the last week of March. There's a few legal things and formalities that need to be fixed when launching a game on Steam like that. So between the play test and that, they have to make sure they get all that done. And that does take a little bit of time. So that's what I would expect. Um, so yeah, guys, again, speculation, grain of salt. Do not come at me in the comments about, you know, you're wrong, this or that. I'm trying to bring the best information that I can with the knowledge that I have and make good content for you guys regarding Gray Zone Warfare. So yeah, close play test around February 24th, 25th, maybe even the next week. And then early access within the last two weeks of March is what I firmly believe with some calculated speculation based on conversations that I've had with some people that I trust. So other than that, guys, if you're here for Gray Zone Warfare content, if you're here for all the recent updates, information, or if you're here for the gameplay when it comes, whatever you're here for, I would appreciate it if you subscribe. Make sure you like the video. And with any new information that comes out on the game, I can almost certainly promise you my channel will be one of the first to publish information on it. I'm here for you guys, and I appreciate the support so far. We're getting very close now, and I'm excited to have some of y'all uh, ruining my missions very soon. So, so again, that's all I have, guys. I appreciate the support once again. I'll catch you on the next video.